Hey guys, my name is Ravish and welcome back to another video in the series of Python interview questions for DevOps. So as you can see on my screen that today is day 8th. Now we are going to discuss about two very interesting and very important programs that are asked generally in an interview for DevOps or for a dev position. All right. So the first question would be reversing a number. So what a reversing means over here is 1, 2, 3, 4. If it's the input, then the answer should be 4, 3, 2, 1. So we are going to reverse the digit in all in all. All right. And then uh, the factorial of a number. Factorial of a number is very important program and it is asked a lot of a lot of times in DevOps interview or some freshers interview or uh, in one or two th years of experience. All right. So how does it work? Five factorial means that five into four into three into two into one. So we multiply the number of digits that comes before that number. So if there is five or if there is six, then five, four, three, two, one. Or if it's three, then two into one. So like that. All right. So you can see on my screen that the answer would be 120. So these are the programs that we are going to discuss today. So uh, before moving further in this video, I would like to request that please subscribe the channel if you're new over here, because that motivates me to create more videos for you. All right. So let's dive right into the video. OK, so as you can see on my screen, these are the two programs that we are going to discuss today. So the first is reverse a number. OK, so what exactly we are doing over here? This is a driver code. Uh, basically, this is the driver code in which we are calling reverse number function. We'll discuss about this. And then the basic thing is we are taking an input from the user. So we are typing enter any number and then the user is going to give any input. And then we are taking an integer value because that's what we are going to operate on. And we're going to take inside a variable known as number and then we are going to call this function over here and then pass the value. So num value would be passed. Now what will happen? Num will come over here and once num over come over here, we have to define a new variable rev, which is short form of reverse that we are going to send back to the function and that is going to be printed over here. All right. So how does this work? So first, let me run this program and then we'll understand how this works. So zero one hit tab and then we'll give a number one, two, three, four. The answer should be four, three, two, one. That is perfect. So this is the answer. Now, how does it work? Now consider a scenario in which uh, let's talk about the logic first and then we'll talk about the iterations. So while num does not equal to zero. So I want my number to be tested whether it's zero or not. Otherwise, just return the rev or does not go. It won't go inside if it is equal to zero. So if it not equal to zero, then it will go inside. So in case of one, two, three, four, which is not equal to zero, it will go inside rev equal to rev into 10 plus num modulus operator by 10. So the thing goes from right to left, not from left to right. Okay. So after that num equal to num, this is floor division. Floor division means that if you divide 15 by two and give floor division over here, then it is going to the value of seven. So this is floor division. All right. Now let us understand how this work in terms of iteration. So I'll give an example over here. So in the first iteration, what would be the number? The number would be one, two, three, four. Okay. Now what will happen over here? The rev is zero in the first iteration. Okay. And then in case of num, the modulus of one, two, three, four by 10 is four. It is going to put the remainder value. Okay. So this is our first iteration. So let me just type over here. First iteration. Okay. Let me remove this. I don't know why it came over here. Now in the second, in the first iteration itself, this is going to take the floor division. So the value, this one, two, three will become 123. So the previous value of num was one, two, three, four. Now the value of num becomes one, two, three. Okay. Now in the second iteration, what will happen? Num is equal to 123. Okay. The value will become over here. Let's see how this works. Now the value over here is the four, which is this value. Okay. And rev into 10 num divided by that. So let me do it in this way so that you can understand this will become three 
the value of rev was 4 so 4 into 10 becomes 40 this is my second iteration this value will become 43 okay so this is my second iteration like this now the value of num when gets floor division by 10 will become 1 2 now in the third iteration what will happen num will be equal to 1 2 then the value of this 43 is multiplied by 10 okay so multiplied by 10 uh, do not understand it this way understand it this way because it goes like this from right to left this will uh, the value of rev is already 43 so 43 into 10 is 430 like this and then this value will become 432 this is my third iteration i'm not going to type it completely and the value of num will be floor division the answer would be 1 okay and in the next iteration when num equal to 1 what will happen 4 3 2 so my rev value is 4 3 2 so 4 3 2 into 10 is 4 3 2 0 but do not take it that way take it this way from right to left this the answer will become 4 3 2 1 and this is my fourth iteration okay why fourth iteration because my complete value is 4 3 2 1 which is 4 in number 4 digits basically now num will be 0 because if it is going to divide 1 by 10 the lower value the floor division would be 0 so this value will become 0 now what happens is the 0 would be over here so this condition will fail num does not equal to 0 it is equal to 0 because that's what my num has become now okay and then this won't be fulfilled so it will jump to rev the current value of rev is 4321 and then it is going to return this value and then it is going to print the value over here okay so that's how is it works so that's the anatomy of reverse num so let me remove this i hope you guys have understood it if there is an issue if you have not understood it feel free to comment below and we will address that or just pause the program and then you would be able to understand stuff so let me just remove everything now what we will do uh, we do not need this this came when we imported stuff so let me remove this as well save the program okay let's dive right into the factorial part and this is i think from the previous video so let me just remove this factorial program so the factorial program how does it work it's very simple you can use for loop as well in both the programs it's not necessary i have used while so just to make sure that you also know things how to do things using file while loops other than for loops all right so again the same thing we are going to take an input in form of a number and then we are going to print factorial of the number is making a call to the factorial function which is this and going to pass a value from here okay so uh, let us do this uh, let me clear this and 0 2 hit tab enter and i'll give 5 okay answer is 120 this is perfect let me open up a browser and let's see if we are doing this or not so i'll just open factorial of a number online so here's a website for this okay so here's a website for this and it calculates the factorial which is this so let us see whether our value is coming fine or not so we'll give a value over here 20 and then calculate it's actually too much we'll we'll take a smaller value 10 calculate it's giving 368 3628800 okay so let's see if our program is working fine or not we'll give the same value 10 answer is 3628800 and then if you are going to compare it the answer is same 368 you can see over here and over here this is the same which means our program is working fine okay so let me just minimize this and dive right into the program and this factorial what is doing it is accepting a value which is perfect we are going to take a value fact equal to 1 because we have to start from somewhere so we'll take the basic value again the same thing while num 
does not equal to zero if the condition is not fulfilled it is going to return a value fact which is going to come over here sorry here and then it is going to print the value okay no, no not here sorry it is going to return over here only to, to this function i'm sorry and uh, let's say the number we have entered is five okay so what we are going to do over here is let's let's do the iteration in order to understand okay how does this work so we'll talk about 120 because i do not want to do a lot of iteration or oh, like let's let's do the basic iteration so that because it's easier for you to understand let us take an example of 4 the answer is 24 so how does this work so ideally 4 into 3 into 2 into 1 so if we do this 4 3 is a 12 12 to the 24 24 into 1 equal to 24 so which means the answer is correct so how would my iteration work over here so in the first scenario fact equal to 1 okay so this is first scenario let us understand this or you can say this is first iteration in this what will happen fact is 1 so 1 equal to 1 into num what is my num over here my num is 4 okay this is my first iteration so the value value of fact is now 4 okay now what will happen num in the next in the fifth line num minus equal to 1 it is also represented like this num equal to num minus 1 so what was my value of num my value was 4 so now num will become 3 okay this is my first iteration so again it will go over here so 3 does not equal to 0 it will go inside what is the value of fact over here 4 equal to 4 into num what is my num 3 so the now the value of fact becomes 4 3 is a 12 and the value of num is minus minus so 1 minus value will become 2 in the next scenario the value of fact which is 12 now this is the third iteration do not get confused i'll just write over here this is my second iteration this would be my third iteration so 12 equal to 12 into what is my value of num over here 2 so now the value of fact will become 12 to the 24 okay and now the value of num becomes 1 this is my third iteration now what will happen over here it is going to go over here again and check whether num does not equal to 0 1 does not equal to 0 so the condition is fulfilled it is going to again repeat the same procedure and then what will happen in the fourth iteration 24 into sorry 24 equal to 24 what is the value of num now 1 equal to so the fact will become 24 only which was the previous one because it is multiplied by 1 and then value of num will become 1 because it is getting minus okay so it will be 1 now so once it is 1 it is no it will not be 1 it will be 0 because it is subtracting 1 every time now once it goes over here while num does not equal to 0 no this condition won't be fulfilled why because 0 is equal to 0 so num is 0 right now so it will jump over to return and then return the value of fact and the current value of fact is 24 and then it is going to pass the value over here and sorry here to this function and it is going to print it and that's how my answer came 24 try doing this in a paper take a copy take a paper take a notebook and try this doing for every iteration i have done it for four you should do it for five so that every time you can do it you do it on pen or paper and then understand the video so this is the basic concept of it let me remove this uh, the whole the whole code is placed on github so do not worry about that you can just con uh, you can just clone the repository you already know where it is and you can start doing your own program uh, i hope you guys have understood it uh, if there is any issue feel free to comment below and we will address that so thanks guys and i'll see you in the next one